Hi guys, and welcome to our new YouTube channel we're going to be calling Speed Shed. From me, Tubbs, and my good friend and cameraman, Josh. Let's take you through the build of my 1990 Ford Fiesta XR2i, or at least what's left of it. Uh, as you can see, we are at the early stages of a complete rebuild. Um, this is madness, because if you go back to a year ago, this was actually a feature car in fast forward. Um, it was clean, polished, absolutely mint. Um, but... There was something that went a little bit wrong, I'll explain what that was in a bit. But as you can see, this is no ordinary Fiesta, this is rear wheel drive. So the engine is no longer transversely mounted, we are no longer longitudinal. We have a full, fully built rear end uh, for rear wheel drive. Um, fortunately, when you start trying to drive a rear wheel drive Fiesta, and this one in particular, running probably the best part of 500 horsepower, um, you soon find out you're not Colin McRae when you go around a corner, and I ended up crashing it. Hence the uh, the full rebuild. Um, running my trusty old ST one seventy turbo engine. Uh, like I said, this was is easily a good five hundred horsepower when she's on full song. Um, but a bonus of this new build, to come with me, is now going to be running a full sequential Quaif G sixty nine gearbox. Uh, capable of taking every horsepower you throw at it and one less thing for me to worry about um, but the future plans we've got involving air shifting uh, flat cut shifting this is just going to be the dog's danglies things starting to lose the edge of a street car but uh, yeah what well, as everyone's dreamed to have a sequential gearbox going back to the car as you can see, this is no ordinary Fiesta setup. Um, gone are the McPherson struts, but I'm now running, well, I'm hoping it's going to work, uh, double wishbone cantilever suspension. Uh, I have no particular reason why I've changed to this, other than I've seen it on plenty of British touring cars and other things, and I've always fancied giving it a go. And seeming as I've had to remove the whole front end, why not? Uh, this still isn't 100%. I'm still not quite happy with it. So some bits have got to change. But we'll be covering that more in future episodes. Uh, so stick with us. And uh, we'll keep you up to date. 